about my bloody thing today. I'll be coming fishing, but uh, well, you've done all right there, mate. Yeah, yeah. Enough, yeah. yeah, you've done enough for the fishing there. Yeah, nice fishing nice ones as well. Yeah, there's um, some uh, the prawn in there as well. Prawn yeah, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I can't really work out where the big ones are, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. All I've been doing is going. I went this side of this groin. Yeah, so you went out this and part. This side yeah. went out and across to about halfway. Yeah. I thought I'll try that one as well. But oh, you've done well. It really seems to get much on that side, but. I know, I should have done, yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Levels Angling Adventures. We're back out again. It's been a while, hasn't it? So I do apologise, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since, like I say, it's been a couple of months now, uh, but we won't go into that here. Yeah. We're out fishing today and we're at Ornsey, Ornsey North Beach. Sure. And we have, behind the camera, with my director camera lady, Tina, she's with me today. So she, she's doing the camera. Uh, I'll see if I can get her fishing as well today. So we're going to try and catch anything if we can. I don't care what we catch, we'll just come for a day out. It's just a nice jolly day. I'll just move this way a little bit and that's it. But there's been a few spotted rays out from Hornsey and some dogfish. So that if, if there was a target fish, it would be that one I would like to catch because I've never had one. I've had loads of thornbacks, but uh, yeah, it'd be nice to catch one of those. But we're here just to enjoy it. It's just, just a day out. It's, it's just getting out of the house. So we're going to go down, get ready and go down. Uh, I don't know if you've just seen in the video, we've just done a little video anyway, there's a lad just been shrimping, he's got a few, so I wish I'd brought mine now. <laughs> but today we'll, I'll show you the baits and everything when we get down there. So I might be a little bit rusty because it's been a couple of months. So, right, we're going to go down. Right, just had a nice chat with them people there. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I'm using today. Right, this is my first rod. This is my 525 pen mag, I've seen it before, but I'll just run for what I'm using. Dio tournament, 0.35, uh, 15 pound. A 70 pound Dio leader, Assos leader. I'll show you what I'm using on these rigs, but this is a Trident up and over, with a rotor clip on it. Something new I'm trying. And I've got sand eel and squid wrapped. Uh, I've got a little one hour Sakuma cycle up and a little two hour Manta hook. So that's the rig and rod set up for today. Well, this is our first test. So I tied just a lot, a little bit. Hopefully, I won't make a hash of the cast because I haven't cast it for a long time, so I'm going to take it nice and steady. I am fishing with my TZ today because. Like I say, I've been up for a while. <laughs> we don't want no injuries. No, so, I don't really need that rod really. I'm going to be fishing with a small bass rod anyway. Right, so we're just going to make a little cast. I'll, oops, I'll put these magnets on a bit. I'm just going to take it my eyes and stick. Stroke it hard a little bit, that's a bit. Right. Nice little steady cast. It's okay. Didn't snap off anywhere. So hopefully we can catch some fish. That one very I want a big cast, it was just a nice steady look. I'll just take it easy while I get myself wet back in. Right, go set the other one up. Uh, like I said, I've got Tina. Oh, she's been doing the camera, so. <coughs> That's nice to be back out though. I'm using a softer rod today. So that's one out. I've got quite a mixture of baits for me, frozen baits. Right, I'll get my bass rod set up now. Uh, <coughs> 
probably seen this lad before. This is my little bat rod because I'm going to fish really close in. Like I said, I'm just trying to catch anything. So, this is 11 foot bass, Dio Paul Kerry Dask bass rod. I've had this a very long time. It's rated between 1 to 4 ounces. Beautiful little rod. Woo! The wind's gone. That's a lot of wind. <laughs> very windy. So I'm going to get that set up now and I'll bring you back. Right. Just have to watch this wind. Hey, right. I'm going to put my bass rod out now. I've seen this rig before. We can call it Thomas's rig and we can call it Victoria's rig. It's a one up, one down. So on the top one we've got frozen worm and some bluey. And we've got some frozen worm and a bit of prawn on the bottom one. So that's what I'm going to send out. It won't be casting very far, I've only got a four arms lead on. That wind's a bit blustery. <laughs> anyway, well, let's get this out. Oh. Good casting there, really. <laughs> Make sure that clutch is set. I'm just going to scratch around with this rod to see what I can catch. I don't want to keep out of it. So that's not very far out. Let's see if we can get anything. Anything will do. Anything at all. Even a dab. A rockling will do. <laughs> It's windy day, isn't it? Huh? Seeing as that's blown off, it is a bit windy. Whew. But we're in the water anyway. Let's lift that up a bit. And we're fishing. Let's see if we can catch something. We've got the beach to ourselves as well. Nobody down here at all, look. No, I don't know if they've gone south side. Um, they said it was coming north end, but never mind. We still can have an enjoyable day. Just the wind of it, it's a bit dusty, but it might die down a bit later towards dark. Right, let's uh, have a cup of tea, as normal. <laughs> right, I've only been here 10 15 minutes. I've had a bite on the bass one already, first thing. Good little bite as well. I don't know if it's still on. Yeah, yeah. it's all good rattles there, aren't they? I just might let it be about good. Yeah, as soon as you put the camera on, it stops, doesn't it? Is that? Yeah. This one, yeah. All right. Oof, that wind is strong, right? Pretty <laughs> strong. The dog's taking it for a walk, I think. <laughs> right, I'm going to check this, uh, check this rod. See what this sea foot was about here. It's definitely a good bite. on a little Shimano really today, a little fixed boat. 
I've got a 16 pound line on main line. It's a good, definitely good buy. Oh, what a bite that was! What a bite that was! <laughs> Two good rattles there, wasn't it? Chair's gone on for it again. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's had the bottom up anyway. Yeah, I think it's had a prawn. Oh well at least we've had a bite. Right, I'll we'll get this baited up again and chucked out again. See what happens. The chair's gone over again with the wind tail. <laughs> Maybe a very small fish. Right, I'll bring you back. Hmm. Right. Right, I'm going to bring this other rod in. It's been out a bit, but I don't want to leave them out too long. But yeah, it was, it was a good bite that, wasn't it? Not on the top here, might have a fish. I <laughs> probably have. I think it's a thorny. Let's have a lot of this weed. <laughs> it's something heavy on it, isn't it? Might be a big crab. That's a bag in it. Yeah, we've got a bag. Up <laughs> there. Oh, I've never caught one of them before. Never caught one of them before. <laughs> I thought he had a, I thought he had a skate then. <sighs> Piece of plastic. Oh, well, at least you've cleaned a bit of plastic. Yeah, I've cleaned some plastic out the sea. Oh. <laughs> well that got me out racing. Camera's not looking at me. That's got me out racing. I thought that was a, a thorny when I saw it on the top. I'll take that arm and get rid of it. Right, I'm going to bait up again and have another cast. So. Right, I've had another bite on this one. I'm going to check it anyway. Get a couple of bites on this pass rod.
ครับขึ้นมาสองได้Perhaps it went down, mate. <laughs> you know, that's bad news actually, because that means there's no skate there. So, right, I'll get this baited up. That's what's doing, at least I know what's crab activity real bad. Yeah, could have done without that. I hope that drops off. We'll still crack on and see if we can catch a fish. At least I know now. Or it is. But normally when you've got skate around and dogfish around, you got to get that activity like that. The crabs. So there might not be no fish. <laughs> right, I'll bit up. I'll bring you back. Just a, well, it's not a blank. It's how's that crab? <laughs> the waiting as well, look. Oh well, at least I'm blanked. Yeah. <laughs> that was that range, that. That was a bit heavy. The waiting's not a bad sense. Well, I've got a waiting. <laughs> not a blank. Not a blank. It's that black crab. Fingers. Let's have a look what he's done now. He's taffled everything. He's a big one, isn't he? A decent one. He had not swallowed a bit, that. He's just got hooked on it. He's just got it by his uh, the circle lock. Protecting himself now, look. Yeah. He's got the rig. <laughs> Come on. What on his legs? Uh, right there. South there, she's a big female. Well, <laughs> one big crab, had angry crab. Look at them claws on that. <laughs> right, we'll put you back. <laughs> What's that across there? Ow, you don't bite me. <laughs> uh, That's 140 centimetres across there. Right, we'll pull it back. <laughs> oh, we haven't blanked now. <laughs> Tina said we haven't blanked. Whew. That was heavy, that. That was heavy. I, I thought I had another skate, actually. Right, so he hadn't destroyed me bit, so that's good news out there. Well, we've had a waiting as well, so maybe that's what them are. I don't know. Right, we'll get this bomb chucked out again. That was a good cast, that was as well. So, right, keep plugging away. I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. It's going alright with my soft lad though. <laughs> so, scales on the doors. One big crab and one waiting. And we've just had another good bite on this bass rod. Has it done any more time? Oh, I think it's good. Okay. I'm going to have a look because it's slacking it off. I think these are crabs what's doing it. Show it's crab. But you never know, I've got to keep checking. <laughs>
Yeah, it's just let go. It's just let go. The crabs. Yeah, that's where it is. I've still got a bit of bait left anyway, I think. Yeah, it's crabs. On the bottom look, yeah, crabs. Yeah, so at least we know what they are. <laughs> I'm getting crabs close in and nothing further out. So, what are we going to use? I think I might put a squid head on here. That'll slow them down a bit. I'm going to put a squid head on now, just to slow them down a bit. We call that one. We don't seem to be getting any activity with crabs further out. It's only close in, I'm getting it. It where it's my bass when I can't really check it out. Just going to put a squid head on now. It might just slow them down a bit. Putting a bigger bait on as well. There's a bit of worm and squid in there. And the squid head. I'm going to put plenty of cot on them as well. I like squid head. Right, putting some bigger baits on now. Might just stick a bit more bluey on that one. There's my scissors gone. Oh, there they are. I'm just using strips of blowy. That one actually. Just see if we can uh, slow them down a bit. I'm gonna shift that up the line like that. A bit. See what we can get. Right. <laughs> Ooh, a bit again. Timing is fishing now. <laughs> I am really persevering with the close in look, trying to catch some of the close in. Can you see the oil slip on the top then? That cloud doesn't look good. Right, see if we can get any more. It would like a skate, wouldn't it? Or a doggy. <laughs> I know. It's... Right. We finish my cup of tea. Can't feel it. Missed it, I think. Yeah. And uh I don't believe that. What a bite that was. That was a right bite. No, I don't. Why am I missing him? <laughs> Tom blowy that as well. Yeah. That was a right good bite, wasn't it? That was, that was no crab. <laughs> It's 
sorry, I've got my back to you, haven't I? I'll tell you a bit about practice. That was a cracking bite. Even the squid has had a go at. That's still on that, so it's okay. Right, let's try it again. Let's see what they are. That was a right good bite, that. Yeah, uh, same we couldn't get on camera. Yeah. What I might have to do is uh, just be a bit more patient. Maybe rushing them a little bit. But that was a cracking bite. Right, see if we can get one of these on this password. That's three good, good bites for that. <laughs> Getting a bit dark over there as well. Who's that? Right, <laughs> that was the mother of all showers. It's just gone up there, but look at it over there. That's a bit black. <laughs> We do pick our days for fishing. <laughs> the wind is absolutely going down the beach gusting. I'm about to hold on to my rod vest. <laughs> we have picked some days, don't we? That's because we can only go Saturday or Sunday. And it's, it's, it is what it is. But I've added something else on this rod here, so I'll be bringing it in a minute. It's just that wind. I might just put this rod down a bit. Just while I bring that one in. Let's have a look. Tide's gone down tired a bit. That wind is really gusting now. Stand up. I think we might have some, I think, if <laughs> it's a big crab. Yeah, dogfish. <laughs> Got a dogfish on my bass rod. <laughs> hey, first one of the season. I know it's only a dogfish, but I will take that all day long. Ow, 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 ow. It's not a bad size as well. So we'll, we've got a, a, a fish. Oh, this wind is really strong. And that was on squid head, that. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to give his bow for a little wash because he's, uh, he's coughed me a bit up. This wind's strong. Blowing straight down the beach now. Oh. Right, let's see if we can turn him. There he is. Yeah. Dogfish. We haven't blanked. <laughs> That's fish number two. We'll go put him back. I don't know how big he is. Fifty-eight centimeters. Yeah, so we we'll, might have a little quick picture. Turn him that way because he's where the hook's been. Put him back. Right. <laughs> he's grating himself up into a bottle.
I just just make sure it goes back all right because sometimes I wash back up gotta be really careful it's got cold now as well it's gone cold I think it's gone back all right oh well success so we've had a dogfish a whiting and a crab <laughs> I'm glad I got it on my bass rod so I'll put another squid head on there and try again right I'll bring you back home I've got another white tin anywhere. <laughs> so that's three fish in it, yeah. <laughs> what? And one shellfish, yeah. <laughs> Tina said. Yeah. I'm saying just looked in. He was a white tin, yeah. I thought it was an adult then. <laughs> a bit white that one. It's been on a while. That's uh, three fish we've had, haven't we? Yeah, two white and then a dogfish. Right, let's see if we can get a few more. That's getting my sand deal, so I'll have to start again and put some fresh on now. Right, I'll bring you back. Them clouds have disappeared as well. Oh, oh, hopefully it brighten up. <laughs> Another bite on that rod. The close in one. I'll tell you what I'm going to send out now anyway. I have got some uh, something to show you anyway. I've actually changed my rigs a little bit. Uh, after fishing with Shane, he gave me some rigs. I actually met uh, I got touch, a guy got in touch with me called Dave Lister, I think his name was. I'm sure it's from the past. I'm sorry, Dave, if I forgot your name wrong, but I'm sure it was Dave Lister and he fished records with me a long time ago. And he asked me and Tina to go around and just try some of his trading gear. Well, brilliant lad. They give us all sorts. So I'm using quite a bit of Trident stuff today. I've got the rotary clip on. I've got the small beads. Uh, that one's an up and over I got out there. Uh, but this line is absolutely lovely. Absolutely. And the rigs have been well made. And I'll just show you something. They actually come all made up. I've never used these before, but I'll tell you what, what a brilliant product. And I don't, I'm not sponsored. I don't, I'm not, no, I've always made my own rigs and I'm not sponsored by anybody. So, but these are just absolutely fan, fantastic for somebody who's learning how to fish. Uh, you can get some ideas how the rigs, and they're beautifully tied, absolutely. So, yeah, that's from Trident. Again, I'm not, I'm not uh, sponsored, so. And Dave just gave me them to try out, just to really try it, and I'm really impressed. But to tell you something, it takes a lot for me to change. I'm a stickler and I like to do my own rigs. And I have made them, some of them rigs myself with that gear. But yeah, I'm quite impressed so far. So, yes, it's Gary. Gary who makes them from Trident. Uh, again, thank you, Dave. Right, that didn't come back, did it? Another big... Yeah, I'll give it a bit longer. I'm going to check that bit because I did have a bait on it. I think it might be crabs actually. So let's just uh, see if we're in shot. Somewhere down there. Yeah, we'll just check this.
Might have a big crab on here. <laughs> oh, a bit of weed there. Ah, a bit of weed there. Lovely night though. It'll only be a short session this because I only fish a few out because it's a little bit dark so I think that crab's just come off. Ah, got a whiting. That's not bad whiting. So we've got another one. <laughs> so that's four fish we've had. <laughs> Yeah, waiting. Not a bad size. Let's have a look. Maybe not in shot now. Just uh, my camera lady has gone for a wee. Right, if I put you there, you should be able to see. Yes, it's not a bad size waiting. They swallowed it in Blue Peter fashion. I thought these would be gone by now. It took a full squ squid head. Let's put my finger in. There we go. It comes out a lot easier that way. It's like a disclosure. Just wrapped in his teeth. The cotton. It is the cotton. I'll just uh, give him a wash because I've just cut. I've got, I don't know if it's me bleeding or the fish. <laughs> I think it's me. I've cut my wickler, I think. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> so, yeah, I've had another weight in that. That's four fish we've had. I'll put it back. I was on the basswood again. Like I say, I'm just here to catch anything really, I ain't really bothered. Yeah, my wickler has been... I've cut my wickler. <laughs> right, I'll get this baited up and I'll bring you back and see what happens. Yeah, I've got another fish. Yeah, waiting. <laughs> cut that wickler's gone again. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Why not you chat then, mother? <laughs> Well, the camera lady was away, uh, having a wee. She had to go up the beach a bit. Uh, I was just checking that bite what we had. So then bites early on could have been waiting. Anyway, we've got some fish anyway. So right, I'm going to put some worm back on, I think. Right, I'll bring you back. Right, there's tea in the look, making a cup of tea. She might give you a wave. She's just making me a nice cup of tea. So it's now seven o'clock. Let me just cut. Uh, that's beach conditions today. It's starting to brighten up over there now. That big cloud's gone out of the way. So we've had a couple of fish anyway. Another white and your dogfish. I'd love a skate, a farm back ray, or a spotted ray. Would be nice. But can I catch fish? What's in front of you? It's nice to be back out on the beach again with Tina. Hope you're enjoying the video still. And thank you to all the subscribers who keep subscribing. And comments, all the nice comments we get. We'll be back on it again once it warms up. And the smooth arms get here. And the thorn backs come in strength. It's that time of year when it's it's a crossover between winter and summer species. So you've just got to catch what's in front of you. And I've enjoyed the day. I've had some bites. Now, I'm going to have a bite because uh, Tina's going to get some food out for me. So, right, I'll bring you back if anything happens. But yeah, it's a lovely night. There's some more anglers up there, look. And there's not many down on the beach. 
That's Marine Drive in the distance. We've still got a lovely beach on here. It really has got a steep beach on here. That's towards Attic. Right, a cup of tea time and something to eat. Put you back on there. And we'll bring you back. I didn't see that. I didn't see that bait. I'm just checking the bait. I've got a small baby dogfish. Another one. I hooked him in the mouth and hooked him in the tail. The size of that. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah. yeah. A little baby look. <laughs> Get smaller. Is that? No, he's what? It's not tiny. Well, that's another fish. That's five, isn't it? I didn't even see the bite on that. Make sure he goes back. Oh, well. <laughs> we're getting a few fish. I'll have to check back how many fish we've got. It'd be about fa fa five or six or something. Right, so that was on my 36 inch rig. Pattern Oster, which I use on sand eel and squid. The other thing is that I like, I like about this rig, I was having a bit of trouble with my rig getting stuck on top of the Gemini clip, but because I've got these power swivels on, it's a lot easier to take off and put back on. And I'll tell you what, it's not coming taffled at all today, touch wood. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with these so far. And that wasn't very far out, that rod. I actually cast it a bit closer. So, I think that's what we'll do again. I don't think I will need to be right out. I'll just leave the magnets on six. Just push it a little bit and I won't. It's only like a flick, little flick of my pendulum caster. Actually, I was just going through the motions of it. <laughs> Not really doing much. I don't know, 70, 80 yards maybe, maybe a bit more. I don't know, maybe. I don't know how far I can cast these days. I don't really care. Just to swing out, swing back up, and just well short cast. That's about right. It's about 80 yards, 78 yards. Leave my magnets on, you see. They're on full anyway. So, right, yeah, let's see if we can get a couple more before we go. So, it's been eventful anyway. We've had fish. We've had some nice bites. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Right, we'll get back to you when I get that one baited up. See you soon. Right, I've got a nice bite on this bass rod again. Just now, pull right over. As soon as you put the camera on. Yeah. As soon as you put the camera on, it stops. <laughs> Pulled right over that, didn't it? I'll come back again. Still having another go. I 
lights are a bit funny, aren't they? A bit finicky. There we go. Let's see if it's a crab, it's a big crab. Give you good bites. <laughs> Could be a whiting. I've got bluey and squid on there, but I'm both rigs now. I put worm baits on, it's destroyed in five minutes. So I'm putting fairly decent baits on there. I'm still stuck with, <coughs> on this one, I've got the sand hill and the squid together. Still after that rear. Oh yeah. I've caught loads and loads of dogfish in my time. And they're the first two dogfish I've caught off Haunted Beach ever in my lifetime. So, because uh, I don't normally fish here really, because it's too busy for me. Dog walkers and a lot of people about. But today has been alright because it's been very quiet. Yeah, I'm surprised, yeah. It's getting dark now, it's starting to dry in. Yeah, that, Tina was just saying, and we, got, we heard that there was loads of weed, because it was going to go to Withernsea, down south of Withernsea, but there's loads of weed down south, so we don't want to play with that. I thought we'll come up here anyway. I've enjoyed it, we have. We have enjoyed it. Got, got some fish. I think that might be a white in that, you know. I'll bring it in in a minute. Make sure we've got some bait on. <laughs> oh yeah, the other thing I like about these rigs as well, when you drop them on the beach, you can actually see them. So, yeah, they've got some good things going for them. The, the dimensions and everything are the same. They're all the same as my other, my rigs. So I've just made them up to my rigs. But I've just changed the components, that's all. And so far, I'm really impressed. Well, <laughs> yeah, also, I'm testing this cotton out as well. It's quite nice. It's quite good. Innovator from, I can't remember which from now. Who's Shame with? <laughs> Akios, yeah, sorry. <laughs> See, that's why I've got my director. She knows everything. <laughs> she knows everything. Yeah, I've got a memory, like you said. I can't even remember my own name sometimes. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Tina said, do you know who I am? Yeah, I don't even, I'm bad with names. I'm sorry, I really am bad with names. So I'm going to pull that in before it gets dark, while you're still running. I think it might have been a white in that. It probably won't be out on because I haven't seen it move for a bit. So I'm going to pull that in before it gets dark, while you're still running. I think it might have been a white in that. It probably won't be out on because I haven't seen it move for a bit. We got something, I think we have. So it's banging about. 
Oh, that's a nice size waiting. I was, I was right on my curl. <laughs> I said I waiting, didn't I? It's not a bad size one. So there's some nice ones about, yeah. Right, we'll get that one up and get it booked back. That's another fish we've had. Is that five, six one and five one? <laughs> Uh, another waiting anyway. So we'll put that one back. Hard to add up to see how many fish we caught. Man, it's just, it's just about catching some fish. I said today, anything will do. Ugh. They're taking big baits as well, big squid baits. All right, get that baited. See if I can catch in a couple before we go. See you soon. There we go, as I'm waiting. Yeah. I think that's, is it six? Six is waiting, I think, and two dogfish, I think. <laughs> We've lost count, yeah. But it's not, that's not the aim, it's just about getting a few fish. I know they're only waiting in dogfish, but we can only catch what's there, can't we? Right, I'll put this back. Right, so that talk, one up, one down rigs worked okay. And I'm going to do one more cast on this one, on this bass rod, and that's it, we're off. I'm going to call it a day. It's only a little session. I think we fished about four hours, I think. So I'm going to belt this out and then I'll bring you back at the end if we catch any more. But look, this is towards the end of the video now, so a couple of more, 10 minutes maybe we're having, yeah, so I'll see you back in a bit, right, that's it now, I'm just going to pack down the rods now, we've got them all away nearly, so thank you for watching everyone, <coughs> uh, we'll be back out again, probably a regular bit more now, now there's summer, well it says summer, uh, shall we say the weather's getting better because uh, it's been a bit horrible so <laughs> i won't say summer but yeah some some summer species do move in we'll be on them so thank you for watching take care everyone and i'll see you on the next one from me and tina take care bye